And I grew up in Oklahoma. My grandmother remembers the Dust Bowl day. She remembers hanging up wet sheets in, in an hour over the window, they'd be dripping in mud. And I grew up thinking, well, that will never happen in my lifetime. And it's happened now twice, 1980 heat wave, and then the uh, summer of 2011. With climate change, there's going to be winners and losers. Because of the movement of the storm tracks, particularly around the United States and other mid-latitude areas, generally means that areas that are dry get drier and areas that are wet tend to get a little wetter. We're expecting two important things to happen that can contribute to drought. The first is temperatures are going to increase. Temperatures increase, that means more evaporation, which can mean more drought. The second thing is we're expecting precipitation to get more extreme, which means when it rains, it rains heavier, but that can also mean a longer time between rains, which can contribute to drought as well. In the past, temperature has gone up and gone down, but really the recent years have shown about the most rapid increase in temperature, so that the environment doesn't have as much time to adapt to the new conditions. Climate affects the farmers. They care about the climate because they care not as much how much rain we got today or we had last week. How much rain am I going to get for my crops June, July, and August? If you're a farmer, you might want to consider planting different strains of crops, ones that are more drought tolerant, use less water. If you're a municipal water supplier, you might want to think about changing the way you manage your reservoirs or manage your dams. If you're a private citizen, you might want to think about low flow faucets and water efficient appliances, but you might also want to think about changing your landscaping to varieties of plants that are more drought tolerant or returning your landscaping to something native to your area.